Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the basement deep clean and decorate. We had our basement done a little while ago but no matter how much we mop it still has like that layer of dust on it so it needs like a really good deep clean. I'm excited to show you everything but the thing I'm most excited about is that we went and we got some decor and we're just finally like decorating down here. We've been dreaming about this for a long time now, so I'm excited to see how it all comes together. So not only are we really excited, the kids are so excited too. We finally uh, got some stools in for their craft table and you know how right now like everything is taking forever to come in, like shipping is just really hard right now. So they're excited to finally get the stools put over there. We're gonna be doing KiwiCo later. I wanna thank KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more later, but they're just excited to have that whole little area. If you missed the whole basement tour, you gotta to check that out on our family channel, Beast and Family Vibes. But for some reason, like the kids area has been like something that I've been so excited for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just give you like an overview of each room before we do it. These are those craft tables I was talking about. I definitely wanna put some bins in here and um, also, you know, we've got like a little rug for in here. We don't have exact plans. We're just kind of kind of wing it and uh, hope that it looks good. I think we might be like moving these as well, but we will see. But here's the before of like the kids room, I guess, like the downstairs basement playroom, we'll call it. So next week, the rest of the hardware is coming in for the gym. Um, so that'll be here next week and as well as this last little panel for the mirror. But this floor is really, really dirty. And all the equipment is just kind of dusty because it was in the garage. So everything needs like a really good wipe down in here. We're also hoping to hang like the TRX in here as well. We both really love that. So here is the guest room. We got some, um, well, we didn't get curtains yet. We couldn't find curtains like the proper size. So I still gotta get curtains for in here. But yeah, we're basically just gonna try to make this a little bit more like a homey feeling, like a guest room, not so much like a basement room. <laughs> for this area, I feel like it's just gonna take like a lot of playing with. Um, we got some shelving, definitely wanna organize. We wanna put the Nespresso nicely around here. Um, and then these are the stools from upstairs. So we basically just put them down here for this video because Serena and Lily is so back ordered. Um, but these will eventually live down here and then we got the proper size of the same exact chair for upstairs. Also just got some new pillows and throws for the couch. And then you can't really see that well on camera, but this bathroom just needs a really good cleaning. Let me see if I could kind of, everything just kind of has like that layer of dust on it from construction. So definitely gonna be cleaning in here as well. So I wanna say a little bit of cleaning, no, a lot of cleaning, a little bit of decorating. And then this wall, when you first walk down the basement, we got like a little table to go here with a plant. Look really cute. So we are starting off in the gym. I'm gonna start with like just like wiping down the mirrors and the glass, and then probably do the machines after that because Chris is gonna hang the TRX stuff, so it's not worth it to clean the floors yet until he's done with all of that. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is just rolling up these mats and putting them away. Since filming this video, I did order like a little wall mount that holds three mats. We are gonna be decluttering some of them because we don't need all of these yoga mats, so I did order that. I also um, ordered a small bar so that I could do my bar workouts in here. Um, ever since I cleaned the gym, I will say we've worked out every single day, so totally worth it. This is like my dream gym, um, so I better get down here and work out, right? Uh, so I'm just using my squeegee from Dollar Tree, you know, it's like my favorite cleaning product or cleaning accessory and um, just wiping down all of these mirrors and I'll do the glass in a little bit as well. Told 
And next up, I'm tackling all of this super dusty gym equipment. So not that you asked, but since I'm going to be here cleaning this gym equipment for a while, I just thought it's a good chance to talk to you about my um, goals for my health and my fitness. So I have 159 days now until my 34th birthday, which is July 10th. I'm a cancer. All the cancers comment below represent. <laughs> That's so corny, but anyway. Um, I need a goal in mind for me to stick with a fitness plan. Like I've realized that about myself. So if I could give you my biggest tip to continue to work out or just even move your body, it doesn't have to be like a strenuous thing. It could be a short little workout, 10 minutes a day. Um, it's just to have a goal, set a goal. So knowing that I have those amount of days until my birthday, which is a summer birthday, I'd like to do, you know, something fun. I want to be as healthy as I can be for my children and also be really confident in the skin that I'm in, which obviously it's good to be confident in the skin you're in all along the way, not just when you're to your perfect fitness goal, but I just feel like for me, I needed to set a goal for myself to be able, you know, to have that motivation to work out every day. Plus, since I'm getting older, I wanna be able to keep up with my kids and be here for a really long time with them. Of course, having this ridiculous, like beautiful gym is definitely motivating in itself, which I'm so incredibly grateful for. Like I come downstairs to this new basement and I'm like, wait, is this really like my house? It's everything that we could have ever dreamed of and then some. And I am just so grateful that all of you continue to watch our channel. And you know, this helps support our family, every single view. And you know, we wouldn't be here without you guys, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I'll stop being sappy and keep cleaning my gym equipment and catch up with you after. I know that these weights are not the prettiest. However, we got them at a yard sale like a hundred years ago and they're perfect for what we need them for. However, I did ask Chris, I said, do you think we could spray paint these gold? Like what would happen? And he was just like, wow, Tiffany. But do you think I could? <laughs> So we got this TRX strap from Dix and we've been loving it. I just really love body weight workouts as well. So um, when I used to go to a trainer a while ago, we would always do TRX workouts and I just really enjoyed them. So having it down here has been really nice.
Okay, so now that everything's clean, I'm just quickly running a vacuum in here and I'm going to mop. And I know it probably didn't look like a lot, but I was exhausted after cleaning this gym. So much like up and down with all the dust and everything. I was like, wait, I still have to clean the rest of the basement. So yeah, we definitely have a lot more spaces to clean now, but still so super grateful. And I don't know, it just feels really, really good to have this space down here. We spend so much time down here now. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of this basement in our vlogs. Okay, so the gym is all nice and clean, so now we can finally start working out in there again, and I'm excited because it just, it's like honestly a dream come true. Like I can't even believe that that is our space. It's beautiful, it's everything we could have ever dreamed of. We're so incredibly grateful to have this extension of our house be like really livable now. So next up, we're gonna try to figure out like this playroom area. I have bins to put in here, the, um, the stools. I'm gonna clean it up and just try to figure out like what way it will look best with the rug and everything who knows we may change it again but let's see what we come up with so these are amazon craft tables they weren't cheap however i just feel like you know throughout my children's life they can use these like all the time you'll see they fit perfectly here and we also got the stools from amazon as well um it just it all turned out so good i can't wait for you to see everything but the kids love it. This will eventually hold all of the Play-Doh and that kind of stuff since um, I really don't want to ruin our new dining room table. It was a really nice table that I plan on having for a really long time. Um, so unlike the other dining room table that was just had so much like Play-Doh and slime stuck inside of it everywhere, I'd like for that kind of stuff to be um, done here. I just feel like this is a great space for it. Also, if we ever need to homeschool because you never know with this world we might be homeschooling again or you know i just like to have the option that we have this space down here if we ever do need to uh, homeschool so yeah i just it all came out really well the bins are from target as well so i got this rug from at home which is probably you're going to hear me tell you that almost everything in this video is from at home um, decor wise These are from Ikea. They're the ones from the upstairs playroom. So the upstairs playroom, like that's my like next room that I gotta think about. That and the girls' room. The girls' room needs to be done now since they're sharing a room. I don't know why I'm like drawing such a blank with how to set it up. You guys, I love how this all turned out. Like how amazing. This is our like homeschool room if we ever decide that we want to homeschool. But also it's a perfect area to like play and do arts and crafts and all of that stuff. And this is from the upstairs playroom, so stay tuned. I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna rearrange the upstairs playroom, but I really like this all down here. And then this rug, it's actually a funny story. We were at, at home yesterday and we picked up this rug and I picked this and Chris picked out the same exact one for um, like the TV area over there and we didn't even realize until we got to the register, so soulmates. Also, I think we need like some kind of sign right here. What would you guys do over here? So thanks again KiwiCo for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You know, we've been using KiwiCo for a very long time now. I think maybe since I was pregnant with Ella, I'll have to look back. But we've been using KiwiCo for a very long time. My kids are obsessed with them. If you don't know what they are, they are these monthly crates. So KiwiCo was started by a mom of three to help promote tinkering, creativity, and learning in kids of all ages. It inspires kids to see themselves as makers, creating their own outcomes, and just making things. KiwiCo is defining the future of play by making it engaging, enriching, and seriously fun. They create super cool hands-on projects and toys designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Each monthly crate is designed by experts and tested by kids and teaches a new theme through hands-on learning and fun. KiwiCo offers nine subscription lines, each catering to different age groups. Each box comes with all the supplies needed for this month's project. There's no extra runs to the store and there's detailed kid-friendly instructions and educational magazine that's filled with content 
to learn even more about the Create's theme. Kibiko believes that learning the skills to problem solve, innovate, create, kids can truly change the world tomorrow. So personally, what I really love about Kibiko is that my kids do see themselves as makers. I consider myself a maker. I'm constantly making things on my channel, making videos, making meals, and I just really enjoy that. Um, so they love creating something. And I also love that none of my kids get left out since there is something for all of my kids' age groups. Having kids ages one through six can be difficult with having them all be doing the same thing, but they each have a crate that caters to their age. Every time they see that our Kiwi Co. crates have been delivered, they get so excited and beg to do them right away. Also, the value is unreal. Like this is so soft and nice. It has like, it almost feels like a beanbag material on the bottom. And I remember all my kids, they love just ripping the tissues out of the box. So how cute is this? Um, this is something that you can save forever. I know that everybody's going to love this. Same with this. This is a really nice quality wood. I mean, you can just put them in here. You can do it with this little slot right here. I love everything. Like this isn't something that I'm just going to toss when we're done. Like this is going to be something she plays with. Look how nice this is. She also has um, the little suction cups on the bottom. So if you wanted to, you can put it on her high chair or the table. The quality is just amazing. I also am one of those people that has a hard time just like playing make-believe with my kids. So I love having something to do with them. Like these crates putting things together or just like having something we can do together, like an activity is really helpful for me. I honestly get messages all the time like, hey, do you still have a code for KiwiCo? So I'm really excited to be working with them again. It's one of my favorite companies ever. I've loved them since I first tried them and we all continue, our whole family loves them, continues to enjoy their products. So I'm really excited to have another code for you. All you have to do is go to kiwico.com slash beastins50 to get 50% off of your first month's crate. And that is 50% off of your first month's crate on any crate. I'm gonna insert a little overlay here of my kids just playing with their crates. I know they're gonna be so excited when they come home and just see everything all nicely set up for them. They have been looking forward to this since they went to school this morning. So I'll have everything linked in my description box as well as on screen here, but thanks again KiwiCo for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now we're gonna get started on that area. All right, Chris is gonna start putting up these shelves over here. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Little Miss Evie is waking up, so it's about to get real interesting trying to get all this done. <laughs> She's so cute. So now that everything is nice and clean, I'm just setting up our little coffee bar down here. We've been using like a regular sized coffee pot upstairs and setting the timer overnight so that we can wake up to coffee, but we also still love our Nespresso, so this was a great option for us. Um, we usually have like an afternoon coffee, so we have like a little coffee date downstairs. Um, everything is from Target. Some stuff I already had, some stuff is from the dollar spot. I also found this sign from at home. I'm just using command strips to hang it up on the wall. I truly love how everything came out. I know you hear me say like 5,000 times in this video, but it's just because a lot of things I already had mixed with things that were new and I didn't really have a complete plan for down here. So it just worked out and I just was like surprised how well it worked out. 
Um, this drawer is going to be our Nespresso drawer. I did not have a drawer organizer that fit this drawer, so luckily I found this old dollar, uh, not dollar spot, but it's a Target uh, find. It might have been dollar spot. I really don't know. It was so old. I always save my organizers because I'm constantly reorganizing things in our home, so luckily this came in handy but in my perfect world i would have had like one of those little dividers that i always use to organize drawers speaking of organizing i did film um reorganizing all of the kids closets and my closet as well since it was redone as well as the pantry so stay tuned for lots of organizing videos make sure you're subscribed um but yeah this little mini fridge here i'm filling up with a bunch of drinks for when we have guests over um there's one drink in here that I gotta tell you guys to not get because in our opinion it was just really not good. I thought it was a kid's seltzer water because we don't normally like drink soda like that. Like as a treat, Chris and I will have, a, I'll have a Diet Coke and I'll have a Coke, but we don't drink it like on the daily like that. And our kids don't drink soda at all, but they do like seltzer water. So I found, I think they're called Zevias. If you like them, you know, obviously you do you, but we just, they just take, taste like straight up fake sugar to me. So. I definitely uh, wouldn't recommend purchasing them. And of course we had to add some Mark Mix. I don't know why, but this really reminded me of Cribs. Alright, so I love how this came out. Obviously the shelves need a couple more things and I need to charge that so that my diffuser will work. Um, but you'll see, you know, this is kind of just the start. And you'll see it in other videos how it all winds up coming together. And then I also filled our little mini fridge right here, which I love. I'm thinking about doing like little coffee syrups and powders and things like that up there. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And then I also, I know there's a really cute um, set of like a hand wash and a um, dish soap. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. That I saw on Amazon that would look great right here. So I'm gonna put those on screen so you can tell me what you think about that. All right, so now we're moving on to this little space over here. Got this table yesterday at, at home. It was $150. It's really simple. Um, that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want anything too crazy, but I just felt like something needed to be there. Um, we are having Tanner's Roblox birthday party down here, so I'm excited to decorate down here for the first time. Okay, side note about the coffee syrups. I decided to just order the, I think it's called Tavani syrups on Amazon, and I ordered like separate gold pumps for them, and I'm gonna see how that looks because you know, I love the simple labels and all of that, but I'm kind of getting sick of it. I have it upstairs in my spice jars and on my laundry stuff, and like that's that's good enough for me. Like, it's almost getting to feel like too boring. I don't know. I'm I'm cool with just the syrups. All right, this looks really cute. Uh, it's very very simple. I just used all stuff that I already had. So this is from my bedroom at the old house. I've had this for about a thousand years. It's from the old house. Um, this was from when I decorated for summer. This light got a couple of months ago, I believe. But yeah, this is good for now. You know, I've just kind of been shopping with the stuff that I already have in storage. I haven't really um, bought any new, like smaller type decor besides what you saw at the coffee bar. I got that from Target Dollar Spot. I'm not scared of commitment. I'm just scared of doing something wrong. I don't want to see. Okay, I also just put this on the island because we plan on having a lot of popcorn movie nights here. This is nice and sturdy. This is from at home. Um, so yeah, we just probably put like some popcorn and candy in here for when we have our movie nights and it just like matches everything really nicely.
In the bathroom now, I'm gonna wipe everything down. I just got like a little Valentine's hand towel and a little hand soap that I'm gonna put out as well. And then just clean everything. It's hard for me to tell you how I feel I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Got a lot of demons up in my brain Got a lot of bad thoughts giving me pain I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Okay, Chris and I are back downstairs. We took a little dinner break with the kids and now we're putting out this rug and we're just like trying to figure it all out. So you can clearly see that we changed it a couple of times here. But again, it just, when you come down here now, it just feels more like home. It's not so like sterile feeling. It's just nice and cozy down here. And I love that. Um, I will say like our living room is just, it's not my vibe yet. It's just fairly plain, our living room upstairs um, on the main floor, it just, I don't know, I just can't, another place, I can't figure out what to do with it, but I w can't wait for it to feel like cozy, like it starts with a new couch, definitely, um, and some paint and some family photos on the wall. I just, you guys know this about me, I have a hard time picking out like decor because I'm like worried that I'm not gonna like it. I have a hard time with paint colors, but in case you're new here, we moved into a new construction house and then got work done after the fact because it was way, uh, more cost effective that way. And so right now our mud room is almost done. We put in little cubbies for all of the kids and our downstairs powder room is almost done. And then now we just like slowly need to like tackle each room. There's no rush. I'm trying to enjoy the process, but yeah, there's a lot of uh, room renovations coming up on this channel. So I was kind of worried about these mirror windows because I just wasn't sure how it was like all going to come together. But after we got them up, I just really loved it. Chris said it reminds him of like a bistro with the coffee spot and the windows, but it definitely needed like a mirror or something down here to make it feel like more open. All right, so I love how everything came out, especially the mirrors slash windows because there's obviously no windows in a basement, so we needed something like that. What do you guys think? I really like it, but we decided that we're gonna keep the guest room for my next video, which is a get it all done video, just because I need more stuff for that. Um, I just didn't feel like I have enough to actually like complete that room, so stay tuned for that in the next video. I'm gonna go tuck my kids into bed. Be sure to check out Kiwi Co. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box, but I know that you'll love them as much as we do. Thank you all so much for watching. Okay.